Coral Gables. It's got a first for us, uh, not to be here, but to film from here. Yeah. So uh, bringing you guys, I know we talk about this place a lot, so if you're in Coral Gables, this is a place to stop by. You definitely want to come and check out this place. Uh, the great cigars. There's other good things here too people will talk about, but it's really the cigars you want to flowers come for. Flowers coming left and right. Yeah, I know. People send in flowers in, nice. you know, roses. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen roses get delivered to a cigar shop before. Never in my life. I know, that's another first for us today. But, um, <laughs> so hang tight, we're uh, going to smoke a great cigar today. So we're room 101. Action for our friend Matt Booth. Uh, he might have sent the flowers. He might have sent the flowers, we don't know. So uh, check back with us in a little bit and uh, we'll light these puppies up. Obviously, we've already uh, lit up our smoke today. Uh, we thought we'd uh, save a little time and uh, get into the room 101. Uh, I know this is something that I've smoked quite a few times. I know you have too, so it's not new to us necessarily. It's been out for a while. Uh, you got a Dominican cigar, Dominican and Honduran cigar. Um, an interesting wrapper on it. It's a little different than what you see on a lot. So, Simonia is the wrapper that's on this one. We had to, we had to get some. Uh, yeah, we did. We had to get some from translation the, uh, help from the locals. From the natives. Yeah, so um, we'll put the little ticker on the bottom. So, for everyone at home, you'll uh, catch that a little later. But uh, no, great stick overall. I mean, we're just starting out, just getting into it. Perfect even burn. So, construction wise, it's a great cigar. No issues no, so no, far. So far. <clears throat> and I like the label a lot. Yeah, and I mean, we kind of picked this for multiple reasons. You know, I know that we, one of the last times we were down maybe hanging out, and Spoken Gales actually met Matt, talked to him for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's a favorite of, the, of this particular store. He's a favorite of this particular store. And then uh, the other thing, too, is, you know, he's got some ties that kind of go into life, a lot of what we do. He does. He's a uh, servant rat. Uh, I want to say he was special forces, I can't remember. Big like servant yeah, rat. And um, so, obviously, support of cigars and service money is just really cool. Um, Matt Booth is the guy who owns what I wanted. He was the lead designer. Lead designer. Yeah. It's not just the cigars, it's the entire luxury book, line, jewelry. It has all kinds of accessories, some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. You know, check it out. It's a market that there's not a lot about that. He does, you know, and so kind of he, is a tribute to him. And he works with Camacho to make these cigars. Correct. Because he's rolling blend by Camacho. He blends it. But, no, it's yeah, they, they, they distribute it and everything for it. Yeah, yeah. which is yeah. awesome. It's a beautiful label you see in uh, the Orlando area. Uh, the only place that has is Coronas. Yeah, go to Coronas up in Orlando, obviously here at Lid. If you're down in Miami, Coral Gables area, uh, pick up the smoke. I know that, um, you know, kind of talking about that reminds me of Cigars and Service members. A little update. Uh, going really well. Uh, this is a great, huge, so, huge supporter right here. Um, so next time you're in, uh, tell the cigar and think things that you. Donate a cigar, drop it in the box for us so we can uh, get it over to the guys. And a um, big thing for us, I know in our last episode we talked about Coronas coming on board. Uh, we have a pretty, you know, good relationship with them just in the first couple days of dropping those boxes off. We already have sticks there, we'll have to pick up when we get back in town. So I uh, thank you to the guys up there for supporting and then for everyone, the whole times, Harry's, TNT, Cigar Fish Nut, Coral Springs, you know, Horse Lit. Horse Air Lit. So we thank everyone for their support and it's uh, the patrons. And you guys out there supporting these local businesses and help us out. Here we are. We've got Matt Booth on the phone with us. So uh, we appreciate you coming on the show with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, giving us this opportunity to uh, sit down and talk with you after we've enjoyed your cigars for a while now. So we appreciate that. Thank you. And I think, oh, you're very welcome. And so I think for us, you know, having you on the phone is just one of those things where let us know kind of what your inspiration was. What, what made you decide to uh, get into the cigar business here and uh, really what, what's your, you know, kind of how did it all start? Well, my man, I guess, I guess you couldn't pinpoint one thing. I mean, well, if you could pinpoint one thing, rather, let me rephrase that. I think it would just be the simple fact that uh, I think anyone that enjoys cigar smoking, um, the, natural, the natural progression of that at the next level would be to uh, work in the in the field of of creating cigars, you know, and I felt that a premium cigar product uh, prior to having a cigar uh, would be um, a phenomenal addition to my collection, to uh, classes of goods that we offered under my under my brand name Room One Hundred and One, uh, and in the beginning. 
um, you know, life has a crazy way of working itself out. You know, uh, I, I was introduced to some of the guys from the Camacho camp through a mutual business associate out of Atlanta. And uh, essentially one thing we met um, surrounding one of my after parties for the Magic trade show, which is actually a, a fashion industry trade show that's held in Las Vegas twice a year. And uh, basically, I mean, the short order of it is the one thing led to another. And uh, we ended up hitting it off so well that we decided to create a cigar together. That's really cool. No, I think that's awesome. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of people don't realize that are just getting into your, you know, cigars and things that you really had a, a pretty good business and everything going for you a little bit before that. You know, I think that's kind of cool for people to hear that, you know, Room 101 isn't just about a good cigar. It's also about all kinds of other accessories and things that go along with the cigar lifestyle in general. Absolutely. I mean, now that, now that we'll, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Matt. No, it's, it's funny that you would mention that. I mean, uh, you know, within the, the world of, of premium tobacco uh, is really a, a niche subculture. You know, I, I've, I've found it to be that, you know, over the years. And and uh, it was really intriguing to me meeting people in, uh, you know, with the, with the cigar element in common first that, uh, you know, had, you know, no, uh, no concept of my background and whatnot. And, uh, I mean, similar to people that I would meet in, uh, in the course of my jewelry business that had no clue that I had a cigar brand. So it, it's, uh, it, goes, it goes both ways, I guess. No, it does. I think that's, that's, that's kind of the, the cool element to it, you know. <clears throat> Absolutely. And the other question I had for you, Matt, is how um, – I know you're getting ready to go back uh, out of the country. How much are you involved in the actual blending? I mean, is that something that you do completely, or do you work with somebody, or how does that work? I mean, obviously, I work directly with Christian, uh, the owner of Camacho. Um, you know, he has generations of experience that I could never, you know, dream to challenge. You know, I could tell him, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a very unique experience because, you know, I get to sit down with him. And obviously, I'm, I'm constantly learning, uh, but I, I, would never, I would never dream to, uh, you know, topple his pillar of uh, knowledge in this field. So I... I I uh, I have the honor of working with him to create. You know, if I if I'm searching for a, a specific taste or flavor profile, you know, his mind is a rolodex of tobacco, and so I can mention a, a flavor, and his mind can instantly pick out a you know a type of tobacco that we should use to achieve that. So it's it's been working out very well. That's uh, that's and awesome. he can always you know he injects his you know he gives his input. Um, and I, and I readily accept that at all times, you know. So it's uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's a, a collaborative partnership, if you will. That's uh, that's really cool. And um, one last question for you. Where did the name come from? Where did Room 101 come from? How did that start? Well, as with many things in my collection, my friend, that have multiple meanings, uh, my brand name is no exception to the rule. Uh, one of the main reasons or one of the main inspirations behind the name uh, comes from George Orwell's work, 1984. And it's just a little tongue-in-cheek uh, reference to that that novel. Yeah, that's very cool. That's, that's, that's right. actually a... I, I, love, I love to hear the stories about how things come together because we all have our reasons for things. That's always cool to hear. And, and I'll tell you, Matt, I really want to you know, thank you so much for coming on with us today. You know, we, we value your time and ours, too, but uh, we want to thank you for supporting, you know, our Cigar Service members, you know, all of our benefits and things we're doing there. So thanks for helping out with that. And just overall, you know, we appreciate you taking some time to uh, let us have a little bit more insight into where your brand came from and, you know, helping get that message out to a lot of people who maybe haven't tried your cigars yet. My man, it's, it's an honor, and I appreciate you guys taking the time. Back from the break. We are still lit, hanging out over halfway through the cigar. We're smoking, talking today. Yeah. It's going a little fast. But uh, so a couple of upcoming things for us. So next couple of shows, we're going to have a whiskey pairing yeah. with, uh, with Cabin Fever Whiskey. Cabin Fever. 
I'm sure you, a lot of you guys might not have heard of it. It's uh, the New England Whiskey. It's a family-owned company. It's the Patriots it's, official whiskey. It's the Patriots official whiskey. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. I don't know. So that's probably a negative. So cut that out. Don't think about that. But um, we're going to actually sit down with the creator of Cabin Fever Whiskey. We're going to pair a cigar in an upcoming episode. Um, talk about where they came from. We just thought it was kind of a cool story. A little upstart business. You know, they're getting bigger. They're going to be in Florida soon. So that's kind of their hope. So that's like the big reason why we're talking to them, why they contacted us yeah. to do a little partnership yeah. with them. So we also have, yeah. we also have a pipe episode coming up. We have a, we're going to bring in a pipe connoisseur expert to um, talk about some pipe, pipe swinging for those guys out there that are pipe. To wrap up this episode today, we're just finishing up with a Room 101's Abu Cigar. Again. Yeah, great cigar. Check it out if you haven't yet. Um, go to the website. Yeah, we'll put it on. We'll put it on the podcast. Go to the website. Check out the location. You can find it. It's, it's worth it. If you can't find it in your local store. Ask for it. Yeah, definitely ask for your local store. Um, it's it's worth checking out. Uh, I know that we're gonna have awesome guy, awesome story. Awesome guy, cool story. Read about it. Um, cigars for service members. You know, keep the donations coming in. We really appreciate it. There's gonna be some upcoming news for cigars for service members. We to use something last time that we've we're really like working on a, a pretty cool uh, event coming up that I think you guys are really going to get behind. Uh, we get a lot of support on. That's one of the reasons why we're in Miami um, right now. But uh, to the uh, cigar thing, cigar service members.